Hi, and welcome to Kim's Kitchen. I'm your hostess, Kim Doyle Lilly. This is a great appetizer for six people. It's called Chipotle Creamy Chicken Taco Cups. It's really easy. You know how I love to create containers if you've been watching any of my videos. And today we're going to create a new container out of corn tortillas. And it's a really quick, fun little thing, and it keeps your guests from being a mess while they're eating their appetizer. I've got a great appetizer for you tonight. I've got a Chipotle creamy chicken taco cups. They're really fun. So I'm going to teach you right now how to pound out that meat and chop it up quick so it'll fry up and we can get out the door. I'm taking two chicken breasts and I'm going to pound them. Right now I'm just going to show you one. I just repeat this process with these same pieces of saran. I do saran rather than wax paper because I don't like bits of wax paper in my chicken. But we're just going to pound it out really fast, really thin like a scallopini. See how thin that's getting and tenderized? That's going to make this chicken cook up really quickly. And I'm just going to show you really quick how fast this dices up. I'm going to just double that up, actually. That way I can see how fast that made that so tender. And we'll just dice it up and it'll fit just beautifully in our little cups. Sometimes if you partially freeze chicken, too, I like to slice chicken that way if you need it for cooking in the wok or something. I partially freeze it for about half an hour, and then it sets up nice. I've measured out a quarter of a cup of olive oil. We're going to pour it in a medium, heavy, I'm using a cast iron skillet, over medium heat. We're going to add in one half cup of red onion. Got the red onion right there, nice and finely chopped. We'll just put it in there. It's nice and sizzling already. I've also preheated my oven to 425 degrees so that I can get ready to make the taco shell. I just put in one teaspoon of minced garlic in there. Now, I'm just going to stir that up. It's got about a low to a medium flame going there. I've got another heavy skillet with one quarter cup of canola oil in it. I'm going to start heating it because we're going to heat up our corn tortillas in there to make our little taco cups. This is so fast and easy, you guys. Okay, those onions are already ready. I don't want to burn my garlic. I'm going to go ahead and put in my minced chicken in here. This will cook really quickly. So I'm going to multitask while I'm doing this and make the taco shells too. This chicken is cooking up just fine. I'm going to go ahead and flip it already. It's only been two minutes to do this. I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for another second. Go ahead and start our corn tortillas. Okay, I've got six, I think they're about a six inch corn tortilla. I've got a prepared pan right here that I'm going to just put them on. What I'm going to do is just sit each tortilla in here for just a second. We just want to make them pliable. And I have some tongs right here, just flip them right over, get them right onto the paper towels to drain, see how nice and pliable they are. These go very quickly. We just want them in for a second on each side. Okay, this chicken, it's looking almost done. I want it to look almost done because right now I'm going to go ahead and add the cumin and the rest of the stuff here. Well, turns out somebody's already here to pick me up, so I've got to hurry up. I'm just going to add that one tablespoon of ground cumin. I love cumin. It lends such a nice, rich, earthy flavor to chicken or pork. I love using it in chili. I'm going to add one teaspoon of oregano. I'm just going to stir that up and let that just kind of toast in there a little bit. Add one teaspoon of kosher salt. You've got about a teaspoon. That's how I've always done it. Throw it over your shoulder for good luck. Okay, we'll let that just kind of absorb in there. That salt just kind of crystallizes the flavors and the pan drippings on there. It's smelling great. I wish you could smell the flavors I'm smelling. Since it's the next most liquid thing, is about a tablespoon of pureed chipotle peppers. I'm just gonna kinda lay it around there so I can integrate it quickly. We'll just work that in quickly while it's working with the juices. The juices heat it up and make it turn sauce-like. Add about a tablespoon of tomato paste. That looks about a tablespoon. <laughs> like I eyeball. I actually did this recipe and measured it all for you guys. I'm so used to just cooking by the seat of my pants, really. So we just integrate that in there. We're going to go ahead and add the piece de resistance, the four ounces of 
original Philadelphia cream cheese. And I've already softened that to room temperature. We'll just stick it in there and mash it up. The heat will start mashing it up. It's, cream cheese is so great. And you know, it turned cold today. We had this beautiful picnic outside last night, and then today it's been cold. And I'm just so thrilled that I've got cream cheese. You know, it's kind of like thinking of Campbell's soup or a Philadelphia cream cheese, and I just think of comfort when I'm cooking with Philadelphia. I can make great salads, desserts, appetizers, entrees, whatever I want. It just livens up everything and binds them together. Now see, that's looking beautiful. Let me pull this over so you can see what I've done. See, now that's nice and thick. It's all integrated. The cheese is melted. I'm going to go ahead and pour in half a cup of milk. We'll just integrate it so it loosens it up and we can easily get it into our shells. There's how that looks. It's nice and creamy. See how it moves around? So that's going to be really good in our taco shells. You don't need taco sauce because you've got a, a creamy, lovely chicken already ready to go. I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. I just had to come over here and stir it and show you guys. This is so good. Beautiful, isn't it? It's just, just the perfect consistency with that Philadelphia cream cheese. Love it. Shout out to Philadelphia. You're the star today. Yes, you are. You're the star Philadelphia. I've stacked my six corn tortillas all together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slice in about an inch and a half in on the quadrants. I'm just going to turn it and just as if you were slicing a pie in four slices, I'm going to slice in about an inch and a half from the outside towards the inside. And you'll see why quickly. See how that looks? I've got, it looks like a little cross type thing. See how it's got the cuts? I've got a muffin tin here, just a regular old muffin tin. We're going to just carefully take the tortilla, put, lay it so that that center part is in the bottom, and just tuck these edges around e behind each other. See that? We made a cup that the bottom fits right snug down in there. We can put our finished chicken in there. I'm going to go ahead and finish up all these six tortillas and put them in the oven for 10 minutes. I just tasted our chipotle chicken. I think it's going to be a little spicy for my guests. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to add about another two ounces of cream cheese to it. That smooths out the flavor and blends it and makes it so it's not so hot. So it's always great to have Philly around the house for these things. I wanted to mention that when you are using chipotle, but I wanted to let you know that if you in any way don't like spicy foods, then be sure to just cut back. Start at a teaspoon of chipotles. You can always build up and build the flavor. It's hard to take away flavor once it's integrated in. Don't those cups look beautiful? They're golden brown. These flapulets will just move to the side. We're just going to fill these cups up so they're mounding and divide this mixture among all six cups. Well, my ride to the dinner just snagged one of the cups, so I can't show you the full presentation. He says it's really good, but I thought I'd show you what I'm going to do with this. I've got a third of a cup of chopped cilantro here. I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle this over the top, but I'm also going to put chopped cilantro right here at the base so my guests can decorate their own food. I'm also going to take some chopped onion. As Julia said, you can use your fingers. They were invented before tools. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some grated cheese. We'll add some tomatoes over here. And we'll add a little lettuce right here. I'm going to add a little lettuce on both sides just to make it nice and colorful on both sides. Look at how beautiful that is. It just sits right up on the plate. It's got that nice flat bottom because people won't make their, a mess of themselves. I think it's time to try this. Let's have a taste of this bad girl. Mmm. Boy, if you could taste how rich and creamy and good this is. The layers of flavor between the fresh vegetables and the creamy goodness and the chipotle, that smoky flavor with the chicken. And that chicken cooked in 10 minutes, same as the tortilla shells. You've got a winner here. You can have dinner in 20 minutes. So have a festive week. I hope you get out there and spread your cheer, your joy, your passion, that you take care of your neighbors, that you go break bread and, and you create community. Same old wrap, different day. Have a great week and take care.